Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. What we've done last time, we'll go back to it. We made this a little bit smaller so you can see the bottom part. We created that frame, and the frame by default is Border Layout Manager, which has a west, east, south, north, and centre. And what we've done is we added a panel to each one of these. This red one's one panel, the green one's another panel, the blue one is another panel, and so the all different panels we added buttons to them to show you the effect, the effect it has on the Butter Elk Manager. But what I want to show you is this panel here, each one of these panels can have a different Elk Manager. Because we added a panel, the default Elk Manager for a panel is a throw the help manager so throw the help manager will add one at a time if I add another one it will put it there and when it gets to the end of that panel it will start at the next line and keep going the same way as we do write text in a book we just keep going from left to right and that's a throw the help manager the frame which is the window um, the difference between a frame and a window is the tile top bar and these buttons here um, that's a frame now if it doesn't have these buttons in the tile bar then it's a window um, and, and Java swing now what we can do any one of these panels we can change the flow layout the, the, we can change it the the layout manager, just get mixed up with the words, the layout manager, and so that's what we're going to do. So, what we're going to do is change the green one to border layout. It's a, the default is throw layout for a panel at the moment, and that's why you see it like this. What we're going to do is change it to border layout. There's many different layouts, and we'll, we will cover most of them. So, what we'll do is we'll close this program. And panel one is the green one. And so what we will do is is we'll change the the panel one border rail by using the set method. The alt set the alt manager method. And what we'll pass here is what the alt manager we want. We want to create a new one. New Border the out and it's a constructor. So we put in the brackets. And so that's us change the border they change the, the panel, the alt manager, the default flow the alt manager to the border the alt manager. And we'll see the difference that makes at the moment. So if we save Right, the, you don't. It's not green anymore, but it is green. It's just because we changed it to Border Layout Manager. It's put it all into the centre, and this is just one big button. Notice the button. We've not changed the colour button. It's the default colour, which is this colour here, and that's the whole size. And this is the first button. And to show you what we're going to do, is we're going to change. Position of these buttons. So what we've got here is um, button one, hello. And so what we'll do here is we'll do with if you, we're going to access this button by the instance of name GB. So JB dot no, not here. It's will be added to the panel. So we've added panel G1, panel, panel 1 adds GB and we give it another parameter and this is going to be the, the border layout position because, because we're using border layout we need to say if it's going to be center, center, it'll be center by default, we're going to say if it's center or if it's east, west, north, south, so and how we do that is border 
layout and the dot operator and we'll put it north it's all capitals so so the JP button north and we're going to do the same with the, the JP6 button border layout dot and we'll put it south So if we save and run the program, you'll see the difference. So we've put added to rest button to the south. Um, so this whole panel, the green panel has been changed, the, the layout manager has been changed to border layout manager. Well, the default is this here, is the flow layout manager. So we can change any panels the help manager um, to whatever the help manager we want and there's many different ones you can choose from so we could have put the the west button to the to the west we could have put the west, west button to the east we could have put it in the center which was the default it took up all the space and um, so and what we can also do is we can add panels to panels so what you have in graphic user interface is you have containers and components the buttons are the components there's many different kinds of components but what you have is containers now the frame and window are containers the frame and window normally hold other containers and a panel is a container and you'll use a panel to hold other components but a panel can also hold other containers which hold other components or other containers and so you can have a very sophisticated um, user interface because of this and the next tutorial I'm going to add a panel to a panel just to show you that we can do this. Right, thank you for your time and I hope that's been of help. Thank you very much.